Good morning. Pretty, pretty lights. Love my pretty lights. So it's Friday and it's fancy Friday, which means that everything is going to be extra fancy today. I'm going to wear a suit to work, even though I don't have to. And the best part is that, hey, actually everybody at work is starting to kind of get into the idea. So we are all sitting around our computers looking as if we were dressed to go to a wedding, which is pretty awesome. But let's get into it. So today I'm going to talk to you about C Sharp versus Java. Now this is, uh, for those of you who haven't been indoctrinated into the world of programming, this is probably as sensitive a matter that you can possibly discuss in, like this is up there with, well, uh, maybe that's a strong word, but this is like double quotes versus single quotes and brackets on the same line or the line under type of, type of a deal, because at least here in Gothenburg, Java and C Sharp are the two main languages, hands down. You're look, if you're looking for a job and you know C Sharp or Java, come to Gothenburg because you, they want your flesh here. They want you. You, will, you are desired, like they lust for you over here. And, th and then of course, because they are di basically direct rivals uh, for corporations here, you are going to find that there's a lot of programmers here with a lot of strong opinions about Java versus C Sharp. And me, who has been playing, have been working with both of them, I'm going to be honest now and say that I've spent more time in Java than in C Sharp. But I think I've spent enough time in the two to give you a rough idea of my own opinions and thoughts and experiences working with both of these platforms or technologies, if you will. So. How do I feel about these two things? Well, the first and foremost thing I want to talk about is Java. Now, Java was the language I started off with. My entire career was based, uh, started with Java. My entire education is based around Java. Everything I did was Java, 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 Java for several, like for a few years. And I can tell you that although there's a lot of controversy around like java and like it's not as modern as the fancier language and so forth it is a really good language i honestly think so like i'm working today in scala for example and i actually feel that scala has a few things that are really like i think it's pr it's pretty okay but actually i don't see much in terms of added value on top of what Java is already bringing to the table. Functional programming is one of those things, but Java has added support for these things. The one argument I can make for it is that you know, maybe I'm not a big, I don't think that Java has bought into the functional style 100%. Like it's not really adopting it. It doesn't like it's not it's saying that it's you it has functional programming, but it's kind of this little I, I didn't make the syntax as nice and like I don't feel that I, I see a very strong object-oriented mindset anyway and That may just be me, but I actually think that Kotlin is if you want to do functional in Java in like on the JVM or Java a Java flavored functional style today I think you should go with Kotlin like you don't like it Kotlin is so much nicer but this is not a talk about Kotlin this is a talk about Java so Java being the language that runs on the JVM it has this loose coupling to the platform which is the one of the first things that it was really designed to do apart from garbage collecting of course so if you go with the Java language you know that it's gonna run anywhere and it's good most of the time there might be some memory leaks here and there but who doesn't have memory leaks, right? But it's gonna run, and it's gonna run on almost any platform. So the portability of Java is amazing. The, you can, it's, that's what I love about it. It has such, uh, such pluggability. You can, you can, whenever you wanna change, say that you run, you're running your stuff on Amazon and you wanna switch to Google Cloud, or you wanna just pick up and move to something else, you can do that. C Sharp is a Microsoft product, so you don't really have that option. Not in the same way, like you can still do it, but it's not as easy. It's, uh, there's a hardware restriction or like an operating system 
level of restriction sorry not hardware but there's this restriction to what you can how like how portable it is now apart from that java has a enormous community of people like some of the best libraries in the world are java based google was actually a really strong user of java before they kind of had to you know give up on porting everything in java to javascript and they became a javascript advocate virtually and java is for better or for worse i think pretty much one of the strongest choices for making any type of system that has stability robustness and long-term support as its main requirements rather than you know maybe some of the other fancier things such as perform like i'm not saying that java isn't performant because it is performant but it it's uh, it's this is the type of language you pick in my opinion if you want to build something that has long term like a long a, like truly truly long term thoughts into baked into it because it's uh, it's proven that it can handle that like the there are Java applications running that are like, like, so like they're, they've been going on for so long that you, it's proven that Java can run for years and years and years. So, I mean, if you, if you think that your project is going to be around for 20, 30 years, this may actually be a real, this may be the choice for you. And then we have C Sharp. C Sharp is so close to Java. It was, I think, I'm, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it was. Like almost all the syntax was just plucked from Java in order to make C sharp, and in fact it's so close that most people will argue, and I kind of agree that if you know Java, you can very very quickly learn C sharp. That's how how like how close they are. So when now that a few minutes ago I just basically said that hey. Java has uh, portability, and if C Sharp and Java are so close to each other, then what? And, and basically, C Sharp has this limitation that you're locked into Microsoft's environment. Why would you go with my, my, go with C Sharp? Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason because you would go with C Sharp is because Microsoft may have its flaws, and I'm not a strong advocate of Microsoft as a company, and I have lots of opinions about them. But if there's one thing they do really well and I think they do it better than anyone it is developer experience Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code like their IDEs and development environments are the best in the world I said it they have the best development experience of anyone don't talk to me about IntelliJ IntelliJ is great but they are not Microsoft they are not Visual Studio Visual Studio is the best damn platform in the world for development and this is me coming from Java, who started in Eclipse and like, when we finally moved over to IntelliJ, this is the best platform, in my opinion. They have features that are so way more developed than anything I've ever seen before. And there's actually a power in sticking with one vendor as well. And that power is that because Microsoft does, it's kind of what Apple does as well, because you don't have this diversity that you have to account for. You can actually make the thing that you're making more powerful. Their IDE can be powerful in ways that is very difficult to achieve in other IDEs because it doesn't have to support all this, this other stuff. You can make assumptions about the stuff that you're, you're building, which is great. Because now all of a sudden you can make all the people who want to be .NET developers even happier. Because maybe, you know, diversity and the sensation of freedom in the code isn't all that important to you. It's about like feeling secure in the technology that you're using it might be about you know being productive and so forth and your use case may not be uh, you know have a need for being like that diverse it's it's maybe a perfect fit for this microsoft solution and so apart from that azure and the microsoft's cloud platforms are actually like if you look at affordability, they're very affordable, like more competitive than Google is today. So if you're looking for hosting solutions and so forth, Microsoft has you covered there as well, doing a lot of good stuff with the, the cloud, Azure Cloud and so forth. So the thing is that like, even now, C Sharp has a lot of features that Java still doesn't have. Like, you know, from JavaScript, async await and these interfaces, 
Hey, C sharp is doing that. Traits. And you know the ability to have latching on. Like I don't, I can't remember what it's called in C sharp. It might be called traits, but basically they have that too. The language is extremely developed, and it's actually very tricky for me to say which language is more developed, Java or C sharp. I I can't even believe I'm saying this because being a Java guy, but I think that C sharp probably is a little bit more like a, a little bit ahead of the curve in comparison to Java in terms of language development. And I'm not saying it's a better language, I'm simply saying that from my experiences with it, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good, I have to say. So when would you choose one over the other? I would say that it's pretty much a coin flip between the two. If you are build, if you want to be a developer today and you want to get into, let's say that you wanted to build you want to build a system that requires you to be able to... Uh, not even that, like it's not even about portability because you can, you can achieve portability. To me it's almost a coin flip between these two languages because there's strengths and weaknesses that are really, really great with both sides. It's very, very tricky to give you a definitive answer of which one are you going to pick. But I can say... I would say that if you are okay with the thought of having, like, just, you know, being a Microsoft developer and, like, buying into their environment and you want to go full on, I think that you should go with C Sharp. Because the thing is that what's so great about Microsoft's, like, with C Sharp is that it's a safe, a very safe environment. They provide you with absolutely everything. I think you can spend your the rest of your career just working with C Sharp and you will be... Pro as almost as productive as anybody else. It's that's how great they're like because they. What I was saying that like locking is not always a bad thing. Locking in terms of if is in this scenario actually gives you a lot of power because you can be more productive, and like actually faster than most people can because you have all these, this environment of tools and, and resources available to you that you know Java doesn't have that. Yeah, it's, it requires much more of you as a developer to get that from Java because it's not, it was never designed, it, it doesn't have this, like the Microsoft environment. So yeah, if you have to pick between the two, I would say that you, you kind of have to look at what you need it for. I would say that it's, uh, it's almost impossible to, do, to say which one to pick, but if you're a complete beginner, you've never programmed in your entire life, start with C Sharp it's uh, going to probably give you more and make you more productive quicker and if you are uh, yeah if you're going into i don't know web-based programming or you're going into like anything that requires you to be able to move around from platforms if you for some reason don't know what hardware or what operating system you're going to run on then yes you pick java but honestly i'm just rambling now the, it's a conflict between these two great languages. So hopefully I gave you some useful piece of information now.